Hey there, Ellie here. So if you're looking to um, plan and launch a group tuition programme in the next few months, you might be wondering, um, I get asked this quite a lot actually, how long is this going to actually take in reality? Now, the answer is not simple, of course. It depends on where you currently are at. So if you're already in a teaching job, or should I say still in a teaching job, and you are trying to do this sort of as a side hustle initially, and then grow it into a group tuition program that would eventually replace your full-time salary, then it is going to take longer. You're going to have more time restraints than um, other tutors, and you're going to be perhaps a little bit unclear as to what you're going to tutor and who to. You might be in a phase of thinking, well, I might as well try and do all the things that I can and say yes to everybody. And that's that's a typical starting point for most tutors. Um, but it will take you longer than an established tutor who's already successfully had some one-to-one -one, um, tutees and has got a good idea of the pitfalls of you know doing lots of one-to-one, -one, lots of different um, you know ages, stages, uh, even subjects and levels and all that kind of thing. Um, so let me go through some of the main phases that you will go through, regardless of whether you still have a teaching job or if you've been tutoring for years, if you want to transition away from where you are and towards a group tuition model. Okay, so number one, phase one, is going to be choosing your niche. So your niche is not just maths, for example, if you're a maths mm -hmm. teacher. It would be maths for key stage three students with SEM, for example. That's more of a niche. Or maths for A-level students who want to get A's and A-stars because they want to go on to study maths at university. That's a niche within maths. So we're going to be thinking, what's your niche? Now, this can take between one and five weeks um, if you were to do this in a programme like mine, um, depending on your current circumstances, as I've already described. So um, if you if, so if you are still in a teaching job, it's going to take you longer um, and it's going to take you some time to really explore your niche and your messaging around that niche. So yeah, up to five weeks to really validate your programme idea, decide its length, its price, um, how are you going to offer support to your students? So I recommend a hybrid of video content and group calls and one-to-one uh, -one mini feedbacks via video as well. Okay, so that's phase one. Uh, phase two um, is then once you've decided who this is for and what you're helping them with, it's going to be building your authority and uh, actually building an audience ahead of launching this program. So this can take four to eight weeks, again, depending on whether you have an audience already because you've been tutoring for quite some time or whether you don't have one at all. Um, so this is going to help you showcase your expertise and build your credibility within your chosen niche area. So um, if you haven't considered your ideal audience yet, much less done any real marketing, then it's going to take you a bit a bit longer. Um, and of course, your marketing, you know, we're going to have to go through some personality testing and things like that to help you really ascertain what's the best way for you to market your services without feeling icky. Um, and the aim here for you, whether you are an established tutor or not, is to grow a brand new audience and that you're going to need, to, you know, an audience of at least two to five hundred people, really, who are interested in your tuition programme in order to launch it successfully. And that, when done right, um, is easier, easier than it sounds. Um, it's not, well, what, what I should say is it's simpler than it sounds. It can be hard to understand and learn how to do that. But once you know where you're going with it, then it becomes easy. Okay, phase three is launching. So that's when we're going to plan out your sales process in advance, um, including how to get ideal students into calls with you, possibly, or sending them the information via email, whatever that may be. And this is going to take you three to four weeks. You can do a really elaborate launch, um, like doing a free you know, workshop series or something to engage your audience and to give them value, get them to know, like, and trust you. Or you could do a really low key launch with just a few students to get you started with. Um, and what I always say during this phase is please resist trying to create your program at this stage. You want to have it mapped out, but you want to create it as you go with your first cohort, because that gives you time to really... Um, Engage with your first cohort, figure out if what you the, the direction you want to take them in is the best direction, and you're gonna learn so much from doing this with them as well. Okay, so that's this that's phases one to three, and then we go into the delivery phase. I'm gonna talk a bit more about the delivery phase in my next video and also um a little bit about what happens once you've delivered your first round of your group programme. Where do you go from there? So stay tuned and I will be um I'll be online again soon with my next video.